Here comes the look. The eyebrows are scrunched. The eyeballs are big and they're teary and the breathing is labored. It's worse than the flu. It's worse than strep throat. It's the I have nothing in my closet to wear look. And it is a deadly sickness. It wipes out entire days. I don't care if you have a boy or girl. It's life changing stuff. At least to them it is. Right now, they live in a them world. The problem's not their clothes, it's the choosing. Doesn't matter if we're talking about clothes or hair, friends or social functions. It seems to be a real issue for our teenagers to make a decision. We all need to realize that the most spiritual thing we will ever do is make choices. So why do our teenagers seem to have a difficult time making those choices? A lot of it depends on their personality. Some teens are laid back. They don't like confrontation, so it's easier for them to let others make the decisions for them. Where do you want to eat? I don't care. You choose. Some have strong personalities that need to make all the decisions, even if they are wrong ones. This is where we're going. I don't care if you don't like it. It will help your teenager learn what kind of temperament they have, and it will help them understand themselves better, lead to better communication. They're dealing with major life transitions at this point in their young lives. There's a reason that most of us have blocked out our teenage years. They were some of the most difficult times in our lives. Many of us have a hard time making decisions about the simplest things during life changes. Why should we expect our teenager to be any different? So here's just a few tips on making life a little more user friendly. If they're stressed with decisions and choices, it can lead to unpleasant confrontations. One of the greatest tools you can give your teenager to learn how to handle decision making is to teach them to pray about it, even the little things. Philippians 4, 6 says one of the clearest definitions of what we can pray for. It says, don't be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God. That word everything in the original Greek language means everything, but it also outlines the attitude with which we pray, with thanksgiving. If your teenage daughter completely stresses out about what she will wear to school the next day, encourage her to pray about it, and then encourage her to pick out her outfit the night before. If your son's completely freaked out about what sport to try out for, pray with him about it. For you, these issues may seem petty, but for your teenager, they are life altering. We should respect that as a parent. Try and refrain from telling them what you would do, unless they ask. The goal is to teach independence in a controlled environment without trying to control them overtly. Remember, a teenager's like an adult, they're just younger. They can sniff out a move of manipulation a thousand miles away. Confidence and decision making will come. Until then, remember, this too shall pass. Remember also the words of Solomon the psalmist when he said, unless the Lord builds the house, its builders labor in vain. That same passage in Psalm 127 goes on to say that our children are like arrows in the hands of a warrior. The interesting thing is that the word for house used in the Hebrew means a storehouse of weapons. Our children are arrows. They're weapons in their warrior mom and dad's hands. Train them up in the Lord. Tune those arrows properly. Once you release them from the bowstring, they're on their own. You cannot control the flight. Pray all you can. My encouragement would be what God led me to do as a dad. Every night when my children are in my house until the days of the empty nest, I knelt by their bedside and prayed. That wasn't my idea. It was God's. I didn't always want to do that. And they certainly didn't always want me in there. Imagine that. Yet God will honor your faithfulness. Know that we as a staff are praying for you as you pray for your family and as you teach and lead your family to pray through their choices.